or is that no winter semis? Oh, this is yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is winter semis, if I am correct. Right now, the bows coming out both very fast players. I don't like the bows actually though. I, I haven't seen Paul, I haven't seen Raw kind of adjust and read someone, but what I have seen is. What I have seen, though, is that the bows, even though they're both play fast players, the bows will actually adjust. You know what I mean? I, I haven't seen Rog do that, but it's because Rog hasn't had, like, he hasn't really been put in that position where he has to. He's been put in a position, like, once against Apollo, but he didn't really change his play style as much. He just kind of waited, like, one second more before he rushed people down. That's it. Exactly. Other than that, nothing's really changed for him. From what I'm seeing, though, by the way this is going, I can see the bows almost immediately op like, option selecting, um... Duck Hunt. Selecting the map Duck Hunt. It gives him more rush, space. Yeah, this rush down that is clearly like, they're about even because the Bows have an extremely good neutral and extremely good stage, stage control. But stage control only gets you so far with a ton of rush down. Yeah, especially with a character like Diddy who can just basically get everywhere. Especially if you have kind of, even though he has good stage control, the Bows, Bowser Jr. has very weird laggy, like he has very weird lag on his moves. Because they're all kind of like, they, they look like they should have lag. Like when he puts out a mecha, it looks like it should have lag. When he puts out his cannonball, it looks like it should have lag. Very good forward smash on Rog. Very bad DI on the bows. <laughs> That's what that was. Yeah, that was. That was a bad DI. Very nice bear on the bows. But very good DI on Rog. <laughs> <laughs> right oh, trying to break Rog that shield. Just, Rog just playing extremely patiently right there in the yeah. Just holding the shield, knowing that almost anything he throws out would kill him. Very nice though. aerial. Very nice challenge, yeah. I honestly wouldn't have challenged that. I would have thought I would have lost it. Very oh, nice. Bad DI on Rod. Really very good hit on the bats. <laughs> he looks at things. It seems like bad DI. Good hit. It's a lot of DI. Bad DI going on. But he slips in the banana, not being able to get the follow up off his down and that he would like. Hey man, so what happens? A very good. Has the Mega Cooper in his hand. He goes for a fair. Misses the fair. Like, the train I like how both. Oh, oh that man, was that's, extremely that's very slow. Very unfortunate. I like how both these characters, like, okay, both these players, are fast paced. But at the same time, oh, very. That would have been very dangerous. Both these characters, very fast place characters, very fast place ca players, but yeah, it, I know, I know, but like they're all they're using each other's stuff against them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's very nice to see that because usually when you're fast place, you, you play at a fast pace, you tend to just think about what you can do with your own stuff. You don't really think about other people's stuff. It's a lot of item control now. You're like we're playing yeah. with items right now. Well, I mean, yeah, items being the mecha and the and the yeah, um, banana. Exactly. That's basically the only things that are on the map. Because, I mean, if you could pick up that ball, that cannonball, holy hoop. That'd be, um, that'd be silly. That'd be, that'd, be a lot of, that'd be a lot of kill videos. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a lot, videos, a lot of slick. Dude, a villager. Can villager pocket it? Yes, he can. That'd be I'm surprised there's in the combo video with a villager doing that. Very nice hoo ha, but very unfortunate that he's a heavy set character from the base. Oh, he goes Very for the nice sliding up smash. smash very good DI. Actually, good DI this time. Just unfortunately, yeah, you can't yeah, DI it well yeah, enough. Yeah, the kill Game one going to Rog. Very nice. Very nice on Rog's side, not gonna lie. Rog. Very good adjustment. You see a Diddy down tilt. You yeah, better believe that there's an up smash coming to your way. Or up smash or a side smash. I keep saying down smash. Well, down smash you do it too. Well, yeah. Uh, especially on, like, sh on shorter characters. No, like, or say. Heavier characters as well. Fast fallers and shorter characters. Like, um, if he did that against, say, when he was playing against AKA Brian. As, yeah. I, as I predicted, uh, the ball to go to Duck. It's not a bad thing at all. It's actually an uh, excellent yeah, it's, thing. It's, yeah, it's a good thing, thing, thing that he realized him. that he should go to the stage to give himself more space and allow him basically. To not get punished for the lag on him setting up his projectiles. Exactly. And it gives Diddy, even though it gives Diddy a little bit more room oh, to run around. Extremely fast monkey flip kick. Hey man, sometimes you gotta go that out. Even though it gives Diddy a lot more room to run around with, it gives him a lot more space to get, you know, to not be punished for setting up his own things. But right now, it looks like Rob does not care oh, about- Oh my him. god, oh, very oh, nice. Oh, 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 He's done a monkey flip oh, in man. the water hop. It's tough that. That was a beautiful That was very nice, yeah, that was very nice, like, off-stage presence by the Bows, but really good recovery by Rob. Well, like I was saying before, we were being interrupted by that amazing, like, chain of events. But it looks like Rob does not even care at all about the Bows' the Bows' counterpick at all. He's just still going at him, like... Like I said, it, like, because he's still, like, it gives him more room to run. Like, this is like the monkey in his jungle, alright? He's got his tree right there, he's got his little bush right there, he has the trees to hide in right there, you got know? his animal friends. Yeah, you see? Oh, very nice gets porch. Up. <laughs> Slow get up until the F's moves. The last that thing lasts so long, that's why. It's because it lasts so long. You probably thought, it'll end when my invincibility frames end. Mm -hmm. Nope. Last three frames probably hit him. But hey, those three frames are the kill frames. And that's all you really need to hit with. <clears throat> very nice, though. Like, this counterpick seems to be in his favor, even though he has high percent. 
Hey, he got the first start. If you didn't very peep, nice. <laughs> if you didn't peep that out, Bowser Jr. can actually like um he can cart over the banana peel, destroying it, and not suffering for trip at all. <laughs> that's weird. That is, that's that's just really weird to find out. Very nice. You see, this is very, very nice. Very nice that he's staying. Like he's approaching with a side B. Yeah. Because that he cannot trip on the banana. And yeah. It forces um. And also, if he oh, like you know, oh, is. very nice, very nice glide toss. Tried smash. to di, but he could not quite get the di because well, you can't. Was way too yeah, you can't di when at that percent. I just think it's very nice that the Bows is playing well to his counter kind of stage. And that his he's using his AB to approach, and if something bad happens, oh, very oh, nice forward smash. That was a, very that good was, DI. That was amazing. Very good um, DI this time. There. He didn't. He forced him to basically take the F smash in order to form mm -hmm. the shield break. I mean, if the shield broke, it would have been a very fancy last kill, you know. Exactly. But so um, nice banana to a forward air, to multiple back air, to another banana to a forward air. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Are it, it's a Diddy thing, you know what I mean? It's why I, I don't, I still don't understand. Like, one nerf apparently. Okay, they nerfed him twice, but like after the first nerf, everyone dropped Diddy. There's Even Zero. There's, there's, which is kind of weird. Things, there's certain things about a character that you just cannot get out of. Like, in Diddy case, once Diddy grab you, like, he will get a good 30% off you. How he did he trip? It is very unfortunate that he tripped on that banana. He kind of saw it there. He kind of like walked on it though for some reason. So that's something I like. Over the banana again, destroying it. I, ooh, shield. very nice forward air. Drop shield or have a broken shield. Well, I mean, if I was him, I probably would try to spot dodge it. In all honesty, I don't think he could have. You, you know, like the shield stun is a lot yeah. greater now, and he forward air with a strong attack, putting him in a longer shield stun. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know. I probably, would've, I probably would have dropped my shield in an attempt to spot dodge, but. It yeah. happens. I, or at least try to roll away from him. I, I would have tried to roll as well. I, I always seem to. Because if you notice, every time Bows is over you, he seems to fall right next to you. Yeah. And unless if you're Yoshi, you can probably roll away from him. Yeah, or Samus. Well, that's my oh, Samus, Samus can Samus definitely roll, roll away. Amazing. Hey, but they, what, are you, what are you talking about? I think the only person would be like. The only person besides Yoshi who would have a bad I, like a, a bad Man time rolling away would. Hmm? Mennonite? Yeah. yeah. Having a pretty bad roll, but we're going straight into game three. This sounds good. Yep, game three. Semis. I'm not sure if semis is best out of five or if it's the best out of three. Like usual. Best out of three. I think um, it goes down to the finals are best out of five. Okay. I could be wrong. Though. But right now, I mean, neutral game took ten seconds uh, first hit in Bowser's favor. It, it's very nice to see because since Bowser is like a regular, and Raw kind of isn't. I haven't really seen Raw too much. It's nice to see. That you know, Someone everyone's here. Uh, yeah, because Rog's kind of been cleaning through everyone. You kind of oh, rushing through. Nice and I, I don't play there. Using oh, oh my god, these banana tricks right, are absolutely amazing. Diddy's forward air. Okay, you check this out. Diddy's forward air is actually huh? punishable and it's actually it has lag on it. But if you full hop with it, there's no lag. That's weird. Kind of like how Sheik technically her fair has lag, but if you hit the stage, <laughs> you don't have lag. Exactly. No. Okay, I understand that. I, I can see it. I can see it. Very oh, nice. The monkey flip. Very nice with the up, up smash punish. Very. I think he's trying to exhaust his jumps. I think that's what he was going for. The bow always seems to slip on that banana though. For some reason, I think he forgets that it's there. You know oh, what I mean? He's not think of it as much of a threat. Yeah, maybe he's just not respecting it. That could be a thing too. But I think the bow should kind of recognize it. You know. Yeah. The banana is what a Diddy's tool is. He throws a banana yeah. in the opposite way. I'm not exactly sure why, but he catches him with the last hit. He probably up. he probably throws it in the opposite way so that way he can retreat. Maybe he feels more comfortable retreating, grabbing the banana, than approaching, grabbing the banana. Because if he throws it towards them, then they can steal the banana and get percent on him, and now they have the banana for a combo. Very true. So I'm pretty sure that might be oh, why. Very nice monkey, monkey flip. Nice tech read as well. If you knew the tech roll back, completely punished it with monkey flip. Right. It's very. This is a very nice solid game right now, you know. Very nice. Both people at kill percent. Like at first, it clearly looked in Bow's favor, but like I said, the beginning of the match means nothing when it comes to the end of the match. It's all about who still has the last lock. Oh know man, I mean? that was a lot of that was a lot of time to punish the Bows for accidentally inputting a cannonball in the opposite direction. Sometimes you don't expect it. I mean, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Whenever you play against a player who doesn't tend to mess up, whenever they mess up, it throws you off. Kind of like when, um, I believe, I can't remember oh, what tournament was, what but whenever Mewtwo, match. whenever Mewtwo King messes up a dare with Cloud, yeah. people tend not to punish it. Very good kill on the Vials, but you know, I think that's what it kind of is. It's the idea of you don't expect them to mess up, so when they mess up, it takes you a little bit to process that that person just messed up, because you're so used to them not messing up. Seeing the Varaga can clean this stock up without taking too much percent, right now he's taking a ton of percent by it. Yep. Oh, oh he goes with it. Completely just, just not, does not at all respect the down there from Bowser Jr. Yeah, well, I mean, it, he, he didn't really have to show him by that. The thing is, though, he probably showed him for like a forward smash instead of a down smash, because that forward smash yeah. definitely would have killed. We definitely would have hit, too. The down smash would have killed, but 
I'm you know. Sure next time if that happens, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go for a down smash there. Who has a oh, down smash? I'm pretty sure it'd be a force oh, yeah, smash. Force smash. Sorry. It's so, okay. Like the high on the who is still in that kill. Even at 189 percent, which is crazy. Yeah, they had to nerf it. You know, you know how Sakurai is. You nerf one thing, you nerf it so bad that it's not gonna be good again. Exactly. But I mean that bear though, the very nice bear confirm, even though it was at 190, I'm pretty sure would have killed earlier if you had gotten it. Right now, um, looks like he's trying to attack on as much percent as he can right now, trying to clear this stock off as well. Yeah, basically he has momentum on his side. He's caught the game up. Caught, caught himself up pretty fast, yeah. just in a few combo streams. Well, Diddy's one of those characters who can once like he gets his hands on you, it happens. You know. Like the might have to like, pull back just a little bit because this um, close combat game is not working on his favor. No, it is not. And unfortunate for him, but I mean, it's a necessary thing. Whenever you're playing against Diddy, you don't want to let him get too close. Especially since you're Bowser Jr. Not because you can't out-prioritize him, even though you really can't. It's the idea It's the idea that you're not as fast as him, so going in and trying to hurt him isn't as good of an idea oh, as... Ooh, very nice paced! Like, oh, okay, monkey flip kick after the banana toss. See, that's another thing. Playing against the Diddy... As Bowser Jr., like, yeah, you have options, but oh, he has so much more. Oh, he misses the up smash. You know what? If he loses, you know that's going to cost him it, you know? Yep. Oh, trying to cover the jump. I've noticed that he seems to get up oh, a lot. No. Oh, with the, with oh again, like very nice. Before, that move is extremely safe on his own shield. If it's not on shield, yes, it is extremely do the punish. Right now, Rog's just dancing around the ball of the shield, trying to find some type of he's way. He's trying to find an opening while at the same time, oh, he's trying to kill the stock the same way. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, there it is. There. The bear would definitely take Very unfortunate. Rare bear by Rog. Very good set though. That was the last hit situation on both of them. Which is a very unfortunate mess up on the Bowser's half. Very good setup on Rog's half. 